What is going on guys, Tempo here, and today I'm bringing you my first video in quite a while. Um, mainly because of my exams and me just having to study instead of making videos and all of that, but I'm back. I'm back, because uh, it's finally the holidays for me, I've got one more exam, but that's in a week. Um, so I think I'm good. Anyway, um, while I'm updating Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare to very latest patches, which I hope will do some good to the game, I decided to go ahead and check Charlie Intel. And guess what I find? Um, what used to be speculation has now become facts, as Modern Warfare Remastered is going to have supply drops, or actually already has supply drops, you know? I guess I'll be enjoying them once I have to fucking download this, this install, um, but... Like... I, I cannot believe that I was so gullible to, to actually think they would not do this, you know? When they made this game, when they were actually, um, you know, developing it and all, every time, right, I kept, you know, hearing people um, saying, oh, they should add this, or they should take this away, you know, to make the game better. Uh, the devs always said, don't worry, we're going to stay true to how the game actually was. And, you know, that kind of brought some reconformment to me because I believed that, well, you know what, at, at the end of the day, we're not going to have to deal with petty bullshit, we're not going to have to deal with petty, uh, you know, it's just fucking updates that suck, because it's just going to be the game as it is. And to me, you know, while playing it, it seemed fine. You know, there's issues with the netcode, and I will, I promise I will make a video on that, um, but apart from that, it seemed like a pretty good game overall, you know? It didn't feel like a demo of a game, or like a pre-alpha or some shit like Infinite Warfare does. Then they come out, and they, they start adding cosmetics, right? That's how it starts. It's always cosmetics. Remember back to Black Ops 3? <laughs> cosmetics, right? Okay, so let's have a look at this article, um... I know Charlie Intel's probably got some like insider knowledge on all of this since there's no way they could have downloaded an 8 gigabyte file and then write this whole story in like 30 minutes, so. Supply drops are officially coming to Modern Warfare Remastered. The drops will only have cosmetic items, right? <laughs> and, yeah, as if that's gonna happen. And all items in that can be earned in drops can also be earned via challenges for those who do not want to open surprise drops. Well, I wonder how long it's going to take for you to earn shit. I wonder. It's available in the depot in Modern Warfare Remastered. I'm guessing that's what they call the Black Marker or whatever. Um, also has parts, which is Modern Warfare Remastered's version of Infinite Warfare Salvage. Great. Today's customization update is called Operation Arctic Wolf. Wow. <laughs> Fancy. And brings with it camos, reticles, combat uniforms, emblems, cooling cards, and more. In addition, there's now female soldiers in the game. You know what? When it comes down to actual things like camos, reticles, um, and all of that, and female soldiers, I don't care. I don't, I don't give a fucking shit, okay? Like, I didn't, I wasn't mad when they introduced, um, you know, new camos into uh, Black Ops 2, but I was at least happy that you could fucking buy it, you know? Two dollars to me at the time seemed pricey, but hey, at least you don't have to fucking buy it, like a two dollar supply drop to get one camo for one weapon that you don't even get to choose. But as you can see here, I think that you can actually unlock the camos as well by playing. So, <sighs> there's also a selection of melee weapons now live in Modern Warfare Remastered. Okay, so, I know people are going to say, oh look, it's just melee weapons, right? It's just skins, it's cosmetics. Already 80 comments, holy shit. But at the end of the day, it's not just melee weapons. This marks the official departure from the original Modern Warfare game 
to a new one, adapted to have supply drops in it. And that's a huge issue. It's a huge issue in integrity. And it's a huge issue in the fact that when we were advertised this game, we were advertised it as, you know, being just the game remastered. Better graphics. Maybe you could have done a better job with the net code. And that was it. Now, all they said, all the integrity they had, it's gone. I didn't mind when they added, you know, um, kill confirmed. I don't mind that they're going to add hard points. Because that's optional. I don't need to play those playlists. I see that as a positive thing. But when they go ahead and add new weapons that are going to directly affect me, and yes, it's going to directly affect me. Okay? Because enough of your bullshit that I've heard the whole of Black Ops 3. No matter where I went, I kept seeing this shit about, you know, fucking idiots thinking, oh, well, it's not affecting you. It's not directly affecting you. Yes, it is. Okay? And I don't give a fuck if it's, you know, some stupid weapon cosmetic, all right? Some stupid fucking, like, what are these knives here? Like a, what, a hammer? Are you serious? Is that a pair of scissors at the end? I can't see it from here. <sighs> the point is, cosmetic weapons, right, for Black Ops 3, completely ruined my multiplayer experience, all right, or at least in a large part did, because it was seldom rare, you know, the, the moments where I was actually able to find, you know, a, a lobby where some kid was not running around with a baseball bat, you know, hitting me in the back of the head. Yes. Technically, he was he had a disadvantage, but it's still annoying as fuck, alright? Just like snipers are annoying. You're at a disadvantage when you use them, let's be real, but it's annoying. It really is annoying. And this is what we're going to see in Modern Warfare Remastered. We're going to see little kids running around, trying to get gold on all their different fucking weapons on all their different extra knives that they bought with supply drops. And the game, you know, on its fundamental basis, is just going to be lost. Which is why I find such a big issue with this type of shit. I don't care if they haven't introduced new weapons yet, because I know what's going to happen. They couldn't make profit with Infinite Warfare, so now they've got to try... With Modern Warfare Remastered, it's complete bullshit. And this is why I'm probably going to call this video uh, the new Call of Duty. Because gone are the days where we can actually play a Call of Duty, you know, and get the actual Call of Duty experience. Gone are the days where, okay, you pay for the game, pay for the DLC, and that's literally everything there is. Those days are gone. <laughs> Fuck you for buying $80 um, worth of, you know, content. No, no, no. We want you to buy the DLC. We want you to buy all these different supply drops. Because, you see, even if you play a 1,000 hours of this game, you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, get all these different weapons. You're going to have to pay for them. And don't give me this shit, right? Because I, I, someone is going to fucking do it. Whether it's in the comments section or here on Charlie Intel. Some retards are going to say, Well, if you work hard enough, you could unlock it. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I played, I played like a thousand hours of Black Ops 3. I unlock quite a few um, DLC weapons, right? Through supply drops. But, but the amount was so little, it was incredible, you know, compared to the totality that they actually introduced. I did every single challenge on that game. I got Dark Ops challenges, I did them all. Multiplayer challenges, I did them all. I, I have a fucking completionist thing on that, right? 
I got rewarded with like some shitty fucking emblem that they had to update because it was so shit. Barely got any weapons. So what are my hopes for this game? I completely lost interest in Infinite Warfare multiplayer um, when they started talking about how, oh, there was a supply drop only variant, but don't worry because you can unlock it with keys, right? As if I'm gonna fucking play that game. Anyway, there you go. This is the new Call of Duty. Just know that, you know, now it's for sure. Next time, you know, the Call of Duty hype comes up again for whatever game is going to be next year. Just know that even if it's boots on the ground, there will be supply drops. And now, you're not going to be buying the game for fun multiplayer experience. You're going to be buying it for the opportunity to have a fun time playing with your fucking new DLC weapons. It's really saddening. It's really saddening. Um, but yeah, I, d I did not think I'd be making a video rant about supply drops again today. But there you go. The, the rumors were true. I was gullible of me to believe that they would not fuck this up, but they did. So now I guess I will retreat back to custom games for the rest of this game and probably just play eights or whatever I, I might try and get into wagers by the end of the year so yeah um there you go fuck my life